Hey y'all, this is Jan from an Alaskan Crafter. Welcome back. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome to all my OGs. Or I should say, welcome back to all my OGs. Um, I really do appreciate everybody coming and watching my shenanigans here up on our crazy little mountain here. Well, today's weather is beautiful. It's uh, actually in the sun. It's nice and warm. It's probably in the 40s. The snow is melting like crazy. But this is just a teaser. We always have a real good teaser. And then it gets really cold again. And we get snow. More snow. So we enjoy what we can while we can at this time. Uh... It definitely gives us that little, oh, I want to get my hands in the dirt. But uh, being we still have quite a bit of winter left, uh, excuse the, I don't know if you can hear the noise outside, but Mr. Jeff Lope is uh, on one of the snow machines. You know, got to get in those last rides. Um, anyhow. It is beautiful here today. Uh, I do plan on spending time outside with Mr. Jeff Lope. Uh, because tomorrow, actually, well, I guess it still is tomorrow, midnight, uh, we have high wind advisory. So, um, yeah, you know, it's Alaska. Never know what's coming next. So, we're not here to talk about the weather. Because I didn't make my video yesterday, and like I said, I'm not sure if I will be able to do my Wednesday videos because we are spending the whole day with our grandson, Little Man. And um, I tell y'all, he's just growing leaps and bounds, and he's learning oh, all the firsts. Just, you know, once again, just make your heart go pitter-patter. Evidently, <laughs> I know, yarn, yarn, but I have to tell you, evidently, um, yesterday was a first, and um, I got a text message from our daughter saying, he's clapping, and I said, yeah, we were playing a clapping game, and and uh, he was clapping with me, and she says, he just started that, and I felt so bad, y'all. <sighs> As a mom, I know that we'll miss some of the firsts, and she understands that she's going to miss some of the firsts, but it, it does break your heart as a mom to miss a first. Now, I know it's not a milestone like crawling or standing or walking, you know, whatever, but it's still a first. Anyhow, I'm blessed to be able to say that... Uh, we got to play the clapping game yesterday. So, anyhow, on to the yarny goodness. My gosh. Three minutes in. Okay, because I wasn't able to do my video yesterday, we'll start off with luck of the draw. And I will tell you, yes, I did frog the last blanket. I just, uh, somebody had suggested turning it. Well... Oddly enough, that's what I did with the last one because it was longer than it was wide. And, you know, you're supposed to go this way. Well, yeah, it didn't work out that way. So thank you for the uh, comment and the suggestion. I really appreciate it. And if I hadn't done that with the last one, I would have continued with this one. So I just want to say thank you very much. But here we go. I am doing, um, oh, I have my book here, but I don't have it out. Uh, let's see, look at the draw. It is called <laughs> Easy Crochet Blanket, but it is by Knit Crow Addict. Uh, kind of like Knit Crochet Together Addict, Knit Crow Addict. And, oops, let's not close that. Um, it's a nice, easy pattern. 
uh, it's a two row repeat and please do excuse the ends uh, because I, <laughs> I've been lazy. So here we go. So I started out doing one, well, I guess you would say two rows. It's a two row repeat, uh, two rows up until here, which is the, um, <sighs> Persim persimmon uh hold please sorry about that the hubs came in and i was asking him if he needed something stay okay so we have the pagoda persimmon and then i figured you know that's just not gonna make uh the boggy creek uh blanket because it needs to be 50 inches long because I did 40 inches wide. So I went ahead and I started doing um, so two, four rows. So let's see, what do we have here? We have ocean after the, okay, let's, so we have pagoda, persimmon, ocean, um, country blue and gold. So yes, I'm doing, uh, four rows each. So it should be long enough. Okay. And yes, we have, cause it is Thursday. And so that means that the number was picked. I'm not going to tell you what the number is. You'll have to go over to Nan at Nan's next knot. Cause this is her brain child. Um, she, uh, uh, she, I'm sorry. She picks a number every Thursday, um, to go for us to choose from our pile. She is also doing a blanket. It is in kind of, um, coffee browns colors and it actually is really pretty. I'm not a, a huge brown uh, person, um, mostly because a lot of our, um, decor, whatever you want to call it, is more cabinesque, cabinish, um, and there is brown in it, but I like to go more for, um, the greens, the burgundies, the, you know, something that's a little more colorful, um, if Mr. Jeff Lope had his way, it would be green all the way. And it's like, no, honey, we got to put a little pop of color in there. Uh, winters, winters get to be so <laughs> that, yeah. So this is my color for the week, and it is Robin's Egg. And I am doing um, Caron Simply Soft. Why does that look? Okay, it's going to look backwards to me. Uh, Caron Simply Soft for all of it. I just showed you uh, what mine looks like. Now, I have full skeins of the yarn, of most of the yarns. But uh, I have, from last luck of the draw, I've balled up what I had left. And I have it in my ice bag. So there are all the balls that uh, that I had left over. So, whoop, there you go. So it sits over here with my uh, full skeins and my blanket. I will leave the pattern down in the description box. And yes, please go see Nan. Uh, even if you're not doing luck of the draw, uh, go check her out. Um, what can I say about Nan? She's Jan's Nan. So, hello. Go check her out. Uh, let's see. The next thing I have is uh, I went ahead and uh, did Laura's Mad Mimi Cro Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming Animals. Um, she does Bod Had a Palooza. Hashtag Bod Had a Palooza. Uh, once a week, she pulls a number on Tuesdays, or she pulls pattern 
for the tutorials on Tuesday. And I went ahead and got mine done early so I could work on other things. So here is pearl, string of pearls, easy uh, bod hat. So here we go. And you know, I'm, I am going to say this will go with my uh, calendar cowl with Seta. I'm, I'm going to say some of these colors do go with it. So I am going to mark that down as um, a cowl uh, hashtag. And I believe we're using hashtag calendar cowl 2023. And that is Seta. And again, I will put her in the description box. Go see Seta. Um, if you don't know who Seta is, she is fantastic. Uh, she has a lot of neat things on her channel, stuff that she does, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, tutorials. She designs patterns. Uh, she has a lot of wares uh, and patterns for said wares. Um, she takes you around uh, Alaska. She lives uh, in Alaska with, with us. Um she has her travel from the United States, United States, lower 48 of the United States, as she worked from Virginia on over to California and up. It's a great video. There's a lot of scenery from kind of on the road in the city to on the road in more rural areas. So that was a trip for her. So anyway, uh, Bod had a palooza. And that is also a hashtag uh, with Laura from Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming Animals. The next thing I have to show is I'm not going to have anything to do tomorrow because I'm just going to show it all today. The next thing I have, uh, we'll wait for tomorrow because all my paperwork and everything is in the other room. So we'll wait for that one tomorrow. Stay tuned. Okay. So the honest to goodness next thing is, I'm not sure if I showed y'all my uh, multi-balance yearly crochet along with Chandy at uh, Expression Fiber Arts. I really don't think that there is a... Uh, hashtag to go along with that. She does have a YouTube channel. She's on Facebook. She has uh, her website where all her yarn is. She has absolutely beautiful yarn. And yes, I have um, uh, ordered some of her yarn. And um, no, nope. um, it's it's fabulous. I mean. Anybody who's used her yarn will tell you it's it's scrumptious. So the March's crochet pattern is out now. Um, but here is my January and February. And this is actually looking, well, nope, this side. Looking more true to color. This, uh, the inner circle is mushroom. And the outer is thistle. Okay, I just had the bag. I have to, I'm like 99.9% .9 that's thistle. Um, yes. Yes, it is thistle. Uh, the other color I have to go with it is lilac. Oops which is a nice light purple. Purple. I know mushrooms aren't supposed to be purple. As Lala would say, ew, fungus. Tastes like dirt. But it is, I mean, it, it is kind of a lighter purple uh, color to go with the thistle. What's the matter, Mandy? Coming in, kind of whining. So there is that, and hopefully soon I will be showing you my, the month 
of March with it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, as far as uh, the Phoenix, not Phoenix. I have the Phoenix on my brain because that's what Lala, Lala's blanket here is. Um, Sophie's Universe has, for me, been put on hold. I'm not too sad about it because it is a year-long project. So, uh, like I said, it is on hold. And my Rosewood Manor is on hold. Um, I was really feeling like I was getting bogged down. And uh, I still need to get my cousin's blanket done. Um, he probably thinks that I forgot about it. I have not forgotten about it. And I have been working on it when I can, as I can. Um, I'm sticking with these other projects because they're small at this time. Um, obviously, the um, multi-valance is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Hopefully, I have the blanket done before it's so big that I have to put that on hold, too. I really don't want to, but... Uh, Big K's has to be priority. So, anyhow, I think, therefore I am, uh, I think that is all I have. Which has actually been quite a bit for today. Um, common, well, no, it's just uh, Wednesday's video. I will be back on tomorrow to show you my... Um, uh, Yarn Vacation AU with Judy at Judy Witch Peace and Craft. No, Judy's Witch Peace and Crafts. Uh, she is doing uh, that crochet along. It's twice a month. She pulls um, her subscribers who answered the question last year. She's pulling from there. And we're traveling with her from, like here, point A, which I didn't crochet anything. I started at her hometown. So, started there. We went to um, uh, Lancashire. We went to Ireland. We went to Belize, Greece, and now we're in Italy. Italy. I need to show you my Greece and Italy. Um, the pictures that I chose for those, I'm just madly in love with. Obviously, why wouldn't I you know, pick a picture I didn't like? So anyhow, stay tuned tomorrow for that. And um, until then, I hope you all are staying safe and having a good time with uh, well, hopefully you're not in any of these ridiculous storms. Um, yeah, stay safe out there. Stay warm, stay cool, whichever it may be. Take care. Love you guys.